So now we're in section 3-3. This section is on proving lines parallel. So in the last section, we were able to figure out um, certain properties about angles that were formed by parallel lines. And in this section, we are going to be able to prove that lines are parallel given certain angle pairs. So um, our first theorem is going to be theorem 3-4. It's the converse of the corresponding angles theorem. Uh, and it says, if two lines in a transversal form congruent co corresponding angles, then the lines are parallel. So this just says the converse of the corresponding angles theorem. The corresponding angles theorem says, if two lines are parallel, then their corresponding angles are congruent. This says, if two lines in a transversal form congruent corresponding angles, then the lines are parallel. So let's take a look at the diagram. So let's say I have line L here and line M here, and they're cut by this transversal T. And I tell you that angle 2 is congruent to angle 6, then we know for sure that these two lines are parallel. And I could mark them using my notation to show that they're parallel. Let's look at an example using uh, theorem 3-4. So if I tell you that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, you need to tell me which of these lines, A, B, C, D, which pair of lines is parallel using our vertical angles theorem. So what we take a look at is we look for the transversal and we look for the type of angles. So these angles are corresponding angles. They are in the same location on the same side of the transversal. The transversal is going to be this line here, D. This is kind of a rotated version of the diagram we're used to looking at. But this is the transversal D, and these are going to be our parallel lines. So if angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, then A is parallel to B. Note that I used the notation for parallel there. And so then I can mark them as parallel using my arrows. Next up we have theorem 3-5, and that is the converse of the alternate interior angles theorem. So the alternate interior angles theorem says that if two lines are parallel and they're cut by a transversal, then that'll form congruent alternate interior angles. This theorem says that if two lines in a transversal form congruent alter alternate interior angles, then we know the lines are parallel. Let's take a look at a diagram. So if I tell you in this diagram here that angle 4 is congruent to angle 6, so angle 4 is congruent to angle 6, then I know that line L is going to be parallel to line M. So L is parallel to M. Next up is theorem 3-6. This is the converse of the same side interior angles postulate. So this one says um, if two lines and a transversal form supplementary, that's the key one there, supplementary, uh, same side interior angles, then the two lines are parallel. So this is the converse of our same side interior angles postulate, which said that if two lines are parallel and they're cut by a transversal, then the same side interior angles will be supplementary. So let's take a look at a diagram of this. So in this one, I tell you that the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 6 equals 180. So they are supplementary. So then, using the theorem 3-6, the converse of the same side interior angles postulate, I can tell you that line 3 is parallel to line M, or line L is parallel to line M. So line L is parallel to line M. And last but not least, we have theorem 3-7. It's the converse of the alternate exterior angles theorem. And it says, if two lines in a transversal form congruent alternate exterior angles, then the two lines are parallel. So again, the alternate exterior angles theorem says, if two lines are parallel and they're cut by a transversal, and that forms two alternate interior angles, then they will be congruent. This one says instead, if they're congruent, then the lines will be parallel. Let's go ahead and take a look at a diagram. 
So in this diagram, I tell you that angle 1 and angle 7 are congruent, and they are alternate exterior angles. So by theorem 3-7, the converse of the alternate exterior angles theorem, I know that lines L and M here will be parallel. So I can mark them as parallel, and I can also write L is parallel to M. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example that will use some problem solving uh, using the converse of the same side interior angles theorem. So from this diagram, we want to find the value for x that's going to make lines a and b. We want to find the value of x that will make lines a and b parallel. So we know by the converse of the same side interior angles theorem that if A and B are supplementary, so measure of angle A plus measure of angle B equals 180, then we'll have A is parallel to B. So we need to find a situation where 2x plus 9 plus 111 equals 180. So I can go ahead and set up that problem 2x plus 9 plus 111 equals 180. I can go ahead and combine my like terms, so I have 2x plus 120 equals 180. Then I can subtract 120 from both sides, and I get 2x equals 60. And then I divide both sides by 2, and so x equals 30. So this is the situation where if x equals 30, then um, these, two, these two angles will be supplementary, and so then I can say that A and B are parallel. All right, here's our last stop for the video. It's time to do some practice. Let's take a look at this diagram here. So we have lines L and M, and they are cut by this transversal T here. We see that we have angle measures 55 degrees and 3W minus 2 degrees, and we want to find the value of W for which we'll have line L be parallel to line M. So for this one, you're going to want to identify what type of angles they are, what type of angle pair they are, and figure out which theorem from this chapter is going to help us prove that L is parallel to M, for which value of W L will be parallel to M. So go ahead and pause the video and try that on your own. All right, so now that you've had a chance to work on that on your own, let's go ahead and take a look at it together. So these two angles here, this angle that measures 55 degrees and this angle that measures 3W minus 2 degrees, those angles are corresponding angles. They lie on the same side of the transversal, and they're in corresponding spots. So uh, by the converse of the corresponding angles theorem, if 55 degrees equals 3w minus 2 degrees, then L will, line L will be parallel to line M. So all we have to do now is solve for W. So we had the equation 55 equals 3W minus 2. Add 2 to both sides. I have 57 equals 3W. Divide by 3 on both sides, and I end up with 19 equals W. Awesome. So for the when W equals 19, then I will have, so if W equals 19, then line L is parallel to line M by the converse of the corresponding angles theorem.